right, ladies and gents, we're going to start it off here with a little video about the dangers of magnets. I know these guys, when you open them up, they got the warning stickers everywhere. They got the foam over it. That's for a reason. These things can be super dangerous. Um, I know we're all not the most safe people around here. Safety third, but you got to do safety protocol when it comes to these magnets especially if you got little ones you got little ones running around you don't want to be keeping this uh, out and about so we're going to go over a couple things because you're going to have a bad time if you don't store this properly if you don't use it properly and if you don't uh, use it properly in transportation that is very important because you could foot the bill for quite a hefty price of something if you go walking by a vehicle and yeah they got a nice old dent in the side of their nice old uh, Cadillac or something so you want to be quite uh, quite safe when it comes to these so we'll go over a couple things we'll show you what this could actually do to you if your little one or you get your finger in between here and a big old piece of metal and uh, show you how to store properly even if you don't have uh, a case for it let's get to it for this little demonstration here, we've got a piece of steel, we have our replica finger, we have our 1200 pound dual magnet, and we have our case for safety. And we also have a regular bag down here to show you the difference if you carry it in a regular bag versus a foam case. And you can pick these up pretty cheap, they got gun versions of them. Um, they work too, little handgun versions. They have uh, ones that you can specifically buy for magnets, just like that. Some of them even come with it. But we'll set you up here and show you how dangerous these can really be, especially for your little ones. They got tiny little digits, you know? Tiny little digits get in the way between this magnet and a piece of steel. Yeah, like I said, you're gonna have a bad time. If you run into another skier, your skis are gonna cross gonna have a bad time. Now here's a perfect demonstration right here. Inside this case is a carabiner that I use to hook onto the docks and stuff so I don't lose my rope. This magnet was sitting right here and snapped on to this case here. It went through the protective case onto the carabiner. Not hard, but it's, it, it went through the safety case with the foam and everything right to connect to that carabiner so you gotta be careful not hard only maybe five pounds worth of pull but enough here is our uh, finger smasher our magnet and our replica digit that's nice and firm it's a little sweet potato took it out of my garden nice and firm uh, it doesn't have a bone in it obviously that's about the only difference here Feels just like a finger. Nice, firm, little sweet potato. We're gonna stick that on the old fish, uh, finger smasher and we'll connect a magnet to it. Just like if your little one was sitting there playing with the magnet and he decided to get next to something metal. Yeah, we don't have to repeat it. It's gonna be bad. I'll try to get this so you can see it and not hurt myself in the process. It's gonna stick down there pretty good. So keep your eye on our replica finger there. Yeah. It's smushed very badly. Our finger smasher and our finger. Maybe I'll grab another one and we'll do it slower. I didn't wanna get my hand whacked on this nice piece of steel here it's a little rusty but it's not very bad so it's probably got the right amount of pulling power and for s's and g's let's see if we can pull this bad boy off of there without any help okay now your little one has got his finger stuck in between the magnet and a piece of steel he's screaming his head off what do you do well you go and you try to pull this thing off. Oh, every time you pull it off, it's going a little more and smashing, smashing, smashing. There we go. Oh, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. 
very bad time indeed. Luckily, we were able to pull it off with our bare hands. We he-manned it and got it off of there. But the bigger ones, like the thousand pound on one side, you're not pulling that off of there. Especially if it's a nice piece of clean piece of steel. And look what it did to our replica finger. Obviously, there's no bone in there, but that's a nice, firm, small little potato there. About the same width of your digit. And imagine a little one. Two-year-old, three-year-old gets his little finger in there. Yeah. Hmm. Gonna be uh, nine digits there. Very, very careful when you store these things. Absolutely. We'll do it one more time, grab another potato, and do it a lot slower try to get it for you okay we'll do it a little slower this time I kind of luckily got the back half of it before the front half I'm gonna be able to pull that off oh we're gonna watch our digits too there we go we got her off of there but we still got some smashage you'd have a very bloody finger and it definitely smushed her right down the middle there. Still one more time. Try to get it right dead in the center. Slower. Smushed again. Again, not as bad as it dropping, but ask this question. Is a little kid that gentle when they're flinging stuff around the house, especially if they get into your tool chest or something? Been there, done that. Luckily, not with a magnet though. That uh, is very bad. And this is very bad as well. That's probably more realistic because they're probably not gonna drop it going five miles an hour on their finger, but it could. That's bad, that's bad. That smush it even more. Oh yeah. Bye bye potato. That was very little force compared to the first one and it still completely destroyed it. Poor little fingers. And what happens if you go walking by holding your rope with no bag? Oh, uh-oh, you just dented someone's car. Whoops, you gotta replace a quarter panel. You gotta replace uh, their bumper. These things slam onto metal. Ask me how I know. Oh yeah, and now you're desperately trying to yank it off of there. Oh no, oh, we got her. Not good. Luckily, I did it to my own vehicle and not on the outside. I did it on the inside. Cause the next thing we're gonna talk about is bags. Bags and or cases, you need them. Now, I used to carry my magnet in this bag for like a year. And in the not too distant past, I have my magnet in my bag, putting it in my car and right on the door jam there, Kaplowy magnet smacks the inside of the door jam in there. Ugh. Idiot! So, this is what we got now. We got our foam magnet case because luckily I didn't do it to anybody else's vehicle. But the magnet in here, it worked for a while until it didn't. And that's the thing, it works until it doesn't. So, upgrade a case or at least have a piece of foam around the magnet or something or cobble something together to where the magnet is not strong enough to plow on to a vehicle or something and I'll show you exactly what happened carrying this bad boy. Oh, you heard it that time. That's probably the speed I was going. Oh, jeez. These magnets are tough. Tough, tough, tough. And I can't get the dang thing off. Even with the bag, 
I have my uh, pilot puller, but it's in the bag, so I can't do that. Oh, jeez. Okay. We're getting serious now. We are getting serious. Oh, get off of there. So yeah, like I said, don't go for the easy way. Yeah, these things cost a little bit more money, but a plastic case with some foam in it isn't that much money. Heck, when I got my gun case for my long rifle, that was only like $40. So I bet you can get a smaller one with some foam in it um, for probably about 20 bucks or so. I haven't investigated it, but I doubt it is too expensive. Easy way, better way. This way, it's gonna keep you safe. We'll pop the magnet in there in the case and put this piece of steel all the way over it and see if it snaps to it. I doubt it, because it's made for that. And there's a nice, what's that, four inches of foam in there. Pretty good. Just be safe. You don't want your little ones getting hurt. You don't want yourself getting hurt and you don't want other people's property getting hurt or other people. You got a stranger in the house, they pick up that big old magnet. Oh, what's this? Oh, whack. Yep, you're footing the bill. Be careful. That's all I'm trying to say here, be careful. Magnets in here. Let's close her on up. Put that big old piece of steel on here. I'm not getting any pulling, maybe the slightest bit of pulling power from it. Even the 1200 pound one did pretty well in this case. It's a Burt Magnetics case, by the way. They sent me that for the 1200 pound magnet, which I lost, by the way. The plain round flat one that we used for a couple years. Yeah, that bad boy's gone. It's about 10 foot underwater in the middle of a lake. All right, folks, I hope you all learned something. I sure did, and I hope you don't have to learn it the hard way, because the hard way is not the fun way, especially if somebody gets hurt. Luckily, nobody got hurt on my end. Only a door jam on a vehicle, but that'll be fine. You don't want to have a bad time getting injuries or having your little ones get injuries, so just be a little bit safe. You don't have to be super safe and lock it up like Fort Knox but just do a little something to protect you, protect the little ones. It's all that matters. Just be safe. Yeah, a little bit safe. Just be safe. <laughs>